And so you've got that on, so, so you t but you've already turned that on, right? Uh, you have to make sure you turn it on below. So make sure. I don't want the it, first light up for a minute. Right. Do you have it shut off up there? What do you have on the monitor right now? I have my PowerPoint. So hit the bottom of that. Did, did it turn it off? Yes. Okay. Now go ahead and turn the bottom one on. The third one in? Yes, where it says picture mute. Okay. That's it. So when you're ready, you hit the bottom of that and you're ready to go. And, then and you when get. I want the Bottom one again, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That definitely uh, no, if you, if you, credibility. No, no, no. If you have never used it before, it's going to, you know. <laughs> anyway, you can go whenever you want. Okay. Last Sunday, I received a phone call from my mom, just checking in to see how the weekend went. Right away, I noticed that there was something that was just not like her. A couple of minutes later, um, after sharing the logistics of our weekend and discussing her coming over to babysit my son the next day, I had to ask her what's wrong. And then she started to cry. She said, I just feel so bad. I want to carry him all the time, but I can't. He's just too heavy for me, and I feel guilty for not picking him up. The last couple of weeks, it's been getting really hard, and I just feel horrible. I felt terrible for her. Like, you would probably feel like your mom was crying. Mm -hmm. I told her that she doesn't need to hold him all day, and um, that it's okay to put him down when playing with him, and it's even okay to let him play by himself. But she just beats herself up, and she loves him, and she just wants the ability to hold him as much as she wants to. My mom has fibromyalgia, or FM, and since then, since she's been diagnosed with it, her pain, her muscle strength, and ability to live life has diminished drastically. Do you know anyone with fibromyalgia? If you do, this story may sound all too familiar, and if you don't, I'm sure you can empathize with her struggle. Today I'm going to discuss fibromyalgia, or FM, the truth is any one of us could be affected indirectly or directly by this syndrome. I'll begin by defining the syndrome, and then I'll share some popular treatment options available for FM. What is fibromyalgia? Well, it's a chronic pain disorder. According to the website for National Fibromyalgia Association, fmaware.org, last updated in 2009, Fibromyalgia is characterized by chronic widespread, widespread pain, multiple tender points, abnormal pain processing, sleep disturbances, fatigue, and often psychological distress. For those with severe symptoms, fibromyalgia can be extremely debilitating and interfere with basic daily activities. Here's a few on um, the top 10 fibromyalgia symptoms. As you can see, there's a wide range um, from tender points on the body that hurt when pressure is applied, the morning stiffness, problems thinking, remembering, stabbing and shooting pain. It's, it's not a fun uh, syndrome to have. According to Prevention.com, last updated 2012, the condition affects millions of Americans, predominantly women. About 3.4% of women have it, compared to 0.5% of men. Some examples of the debilitating effects. On June 4, 2012, uh, interview with Monica Relia, 51-year-old uh, patient diagnosed with fibromyalgia, she cried when asked about the debilitating effects of this syndrome while she was saying, it's just so frustrating. I can't do things like I used to do. I'm finally just realizing that I have to completely change my lifestyle and I just can't do as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. On May 30th, 2012, in an interview with Karen Nenz, another 51-year-old fibromyalgia patient, 
said that after 20 years of living with fibro, it never gets easier. I'm sick of being so dependent on medication. If I can find a way to wean off of it, I want to, but I'm scared. This is the sad reality of living with, with FM. Treatment um, is pretty much limiting the pain and making daily life manageable. There's just no cure for fibromyalgia. Um, but the treatment options are to improve the quality of life for the FM patient. Um, in chapter four of a book titled Fibromyalgia, written by Kim Jones and uh, Janice Hoffman, published in September of 2009, the authors write, a biopsychosocial treatment schedule has proved to be the best approach for regaining good quality of life when living with FM. They go on to discuss the importance of having a team of people working on the treatment with the most important person on that team is the FM patient. Their attitude and level of involvement in their treatment determines their success rate. The National, the National Fibromyalgia Association, last updated in 2012, um, website includes other options such as the ones listed here. Um, there, you can see that the options range anywhere from um, a very uh, clinical approach to a very holistic naturopathic approach. Um, anywhere from moderate exercise to using uh, medications like uh, Karen Nunn's uses. Most FM patients prefer pharmacological treatment over other treatment options because it's easy. You just take a pill and your pain goes away. It's a quick solution to the problem. Others, like Karen Nunn's mentioned earlier, have been using medication for several years now and are now afraid of withdrawals, increased pain, and increased physical limitations that um, can come with reducing or changing treatment. Several studies have been conducted on the effectiveness of other treatment options and the statistical results were just not conclusive. So today we've looked at fiber, uh, <clears throat> today we've looked at what fibromyalgia is and what treatment options are available for those who suffer from this syndrome. More and more people are being diagnosed with FM each day and those people are moms, daughters, cousins, aunts, and even grandmothers like my mom. You could go home today and find out that you or one of your loved ones has fibromyalgia. And there is hope. At the end of my conversation on Sunday with my mom, she said, there is hope when I have the love and support of God, my family, and friends. They make life worth living through